Chuck, uh, this is, oops, I forgot I had a timer going off. We're going to continue. I can cut that out, but I'm not going to. So anyways, uh, God, I'm such a trash fire. It's okay. I accept this about myself. So this is actually a bakery that we went to in El Paso. We really didn't stay in El Paso very long. The first few days of the trip were literally just drive, 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 because Texas is enormous and it took a few days to get through Texas but on this particular day we got there pretty late and then in the morning we just had time to just get breakfast and go and we went to it's called Bowie Bakery which is in an interesting little neighborhood um it was kind of on the corner so I couldn't get the door right and this is not based on the actual bakery itself this is just I went to a bakery and I was like oh I'll build a bakery because very quickly I realized I could not build the actual bakery itself. There was there was no way. So I just kind of went for like a bit cutesy, not quite pastel, but definitely cutesy. I honestly don't even know what I got there. I know that it was delicious, but I just pointed. There was no signs. I was just like, I want that. That looks amazing. And it was. El Paso is actually pretty cool. I want to go back to the places that I want to go back and spend more time in. I just, honestly, I've never been to like even middle of America, let alone the East Coast, so all of it was definitely very new and very interesting for me. Definitely a West Coast kind of gal. And so it was, it was like I said, interesting, fun, but I wish I had more time just in general to have spent in each of these different places, because El Paso was so... It was almost like another... not another country, but it was just, it was just vastly different from basically old mining towns as well frame of reference in California. <laughs> so it was, you could, you know, you saw the, the stupid freaking wall, but there was just like these giant sculptures. One of them looked like a jack from that little game you can play. And the, like, there was a lot of brick. I'm trying to think construction-wise with the architecture. There was a lot of like older properties that were like leveled that I thought was really neat because we did drive around a little bit. But yeah, for the most part, just went to a bakery. but I have major anxiety so I really only travel to like the same places or the same states or whatever so this was this whole trip had been really out of my comfort zone I'm glad it went it was probably a little bit too long just for me personally because I was tired but I enjoyed it still as you can see I'm trying to find a way to like make this work with the corners I couldn't do it so I found out okay we're gonna put a wall we're gonna put a wall don't over decorate this lot. I started to and then I'm like you need to calm down. I really wasn't even gonna decorate all that much. I was just gonna do that front room but then I'm like well wouldn't it be cute if there was a little break room and we have to obviously make where they're gonna put pastries and it just escalated from there. I also got a coffee there and it was really 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 good. I don't even know how I found this place. I think, it was a, I, think I just googled breakfast. <laughs> So this part of the kitchen is like where they would actually bake things. Obviously that's not an ideal setup for a bakery, but this is The Sims, so that's what I put there. This lot's not going to be available for download just because there's so much CC. Even though it's minimally decorated by my standards, there's a lot of CC. I forgot I had that little bakery case too, I was super thrilled to find it, and later I actually found another really cool bakery case that just kind of rounded it out, but as you can see, I'm trying not to use a lot of cheats. I have move objects on, but I'm trying not to like put things where they shouldn't go or where they wouldn't ordinarily go in the game. So there's like a little pastry bag, a little bread box, just a few different things. I liked that I could put that in front of the register because a lot of times there is like that impulse little area in front of the register where you can, you're like, look, don't you want to buy this? And often you do. So I removed some of the cases because I really wanted to use this. I thought it was perfect. I actually wish that I'd put it on the other side, but I wasn't thinking about it because it looked a little bit more like the register, but that's okay. Plus it gives them space because I forgot, I'm like, they're going to actually need to get in this lot or in the back of the yeah, space. And they couldn't before because I had it all blocked off. 
yeah, I really, it was unnecessary for me to decorate this lot even as much as I did, but I just wanted to. I wanted it to be a cute little bakery. I might actually put this in my pleasant view, I'm thinking about it. Because the way that I did it, I feel like it would be okay. I've kind of got the little break room. I have one different chair just because I wanted something a little bit different. If I did put this in my pleasant view, I'd edit it a little bit. I don't really have anybody that I think would own a bakery, which is a pity because I know that Dina Caliente really needs to have a bunch of businesses, but like, I don't know. Over in that corner, I was thinking there would be like, that's where you would hang your coat up, put your stuff, and there'd be lockers. So that's why I have like the calendar and like just little notices and things that's what you find in a break room. I also put like that stretches poster because a lot of, not so much like family businesses but a lot of like bigger companies that have any kind of break room have like here's how you stretch to take care of yourself and just like general posters that are all meant to be very non-offensive but the stretching ones I do remember there being one of just like here this is how you stretch so you can take care of yourself so that they don't get sued for you standing for 10 hours. You know, put a little fire alarm. I hung up a flag because I just needed something on the wall. Found these little bread things. That I think are cool. I must have downloaded a bakery set. I don't remember doing it, but I must have downloaded it at some point, so I'm kind of glad that I did. Because I remember going in, I'm like, I didn't download anything for this. How is this going to work? But I at least had one thing. I was in the cutesy theme. I was actually decorating this while watching Annabelle Comes Home, so like, it's not like I was watching something cutesy. I just was like, no, it's gonna be cute. There will be butterflies and flowers and... yeah. I always think it's interesting too, the kind of CC that people gravitate towards, like, as their favorite piece, even if it's something that you don't use very much, like, there's certain pieces of CC that I'm like, this is my favorite. I don't know why. Like, a lot of times it makes no sense. Like, that, you saw it briefly, that little, like, pool set up with the lifeguard thing and the scoop. Like, I love that piece of CC because it's just perfect. I don't even use it that much, but just, like, it's something that I would never remove from my game because it's perfect. <laughs> Especially if you build a pool. Which I did ages ago, but, nah. Uh, I do have these really cool lockers that they fit in with what I was trying to accomplish. Um, I was basing this on, honestly, but I worked at Safeway years ago and you had little lockers. I think Walmart does it too, or they, but they're usually teeny tiny lockers, but this is a small place. So I figured they could have four big ones. And then I had just kind of some little pastries to fill up the case. I was excited because I thought there was recolors. I was like, oh, I can put a bunch of them. Oh, never mind. It's just the plate. But I put out you know, some samples, as it were. There's some little candy bowl, and cakes. I decided to do wedding cakes because I could put two. That was really all that I had to fill that case. So I'm glad that I was able to delete the other ones, or else it would have looked really empty. We're just about done now. I know I do a quick few things, like I fixed the bread rack because it's not coming out of the wall because that was happening. I also didn't have the right CC for the roof because I, I wanted like a solid wall just to make it a little bit higher, but I didn't download one, so that's what you get for not downloading things ahead of time. I was like, surely by now I have the CC I need. No. No, I do not. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this lot. Like I said, it's just a little basic bakery, but sometimes you don't need that much. Like, I feel like this is sufficient. I just overly decorate because I'm a monster, but like this is sufficient for, oh look, a bakery that serves coffee. And it's perfectly serviceable. I'm just, like I said, I'm a monster. I'm trying not to over-decorate. This is actually also part of my experimentation in not over-decorating. I'm not very good at that, but I'm practicing. <laughs> See, I think this is where I'm, I find out that I did not download the top fencing bit that I thought I did. So I was like, well, maybe I'll use one of these. They're cute. And I was like, no, 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 it's wrong. Bad and wrong. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, definitely give it a like. I do 